In this video, we want to show you how to do risk management in the CodeBeamer. We're going to show you how to associate two different types of requirements to risks and then how to visualize those risks in our risk metrics. So let's go to the CodeBeamer. Here we are in our trackers and from CodeBeamer 7.4 on, um, it has its own risk trackers. And as you can see, it's empty. So let's go to the risks and set up a few risks. So what we're going to do, I'm going to set up a new risk. And for demonstration purposes, we will call it project risks. Then we will give it a few values. So we probably type in the likelihood will be 4, the severity will be 4. Let's click on save. Let's add a new risk. Let's call this product risk. So probably add here a few values as well. Likelihood should be 2 and probably severity be 5. I will get into detail about the other fields later on. So simply set up a few risks and assign them a few values. So probably call this one business risk. Let's assign the likelihood 5 and the severity 6. So this is how we simply set up three different risks and they all have three different values. On each one of them has individual likelihood and individual severity. So let's go now to another tracker. Let's go to our functional requirements and associate a couple requirements to the risks. So let's actually choose the tablet. As you can see down here, there's a risk field. We can easily pick one of the risks we just created. So let's click on this and associate this with the project risk. Let's go to carbon fiber plastic structure, make it a bit more simple. So product risk. Let's go to the touch interface and type it in. Let's call this the business risk. Now let's go to another tracker. Go to the non-functional requirements. Probably choose accessibility. And here we will choose the business risk. Set up for compliance, the project risk. Now you have seen how we easily set up requirements and associated them with according risks. So let's go back to our risks. And on the top right, on the menu, we do have something which is called the risk matrix diagram. And this risk matrix diagram will visualize me my risks according to its underlying requirements. And as you can see here, the related trackers, so the related requirements are the functional requirements and the non-functional requirements. And I'm going to go down here. As you can see, there is an initial risk matrix since I only set up the initial risk for severity and likelihood, but also each risk has um, a risk after mitigation. And as you can see, this one is empty. So let's actually click on here and see what's going on. And as you can see, the project risk is associated with the compliance and the project risk is also associated with the tablet. So this is why we have here two. And let's go click on this. As you can see, the product risk is associated with the carbon fiber plastic structures. 
Now let's go back to our risks and let's say probably the product risks should be mitigated. Let's go to product risks. It's properties. We now just have the initial likelihood and severity, also the likelihood and the severity after mitigation. And as you can see, the copeamer is fully customizable and it will automatically calculate the value and also it will automatically calculate the values after mitigation. So let's type in here likelihood 1 and probably severity 4. Let's click on save and as you can see the risk has been mitigated. Let's have a look at the matrix, see what happened. Now it's up here and this is an easy way how we can associate requirements from different trackers to one risk tracker and um, easily visualize the risks. Um, to see how the matrix and all those values up here are fully customizable, have a look at the uh, video called Risk Matrix Configuration. Thanks for watching.